What's going on, everybody? Happy, happy Monday. Today, we're going on Twitter and reading some posts. Some of the crazy stuff out there that I've seen. And we're just going to cover two pieces today. Uh, one was sent to me by somebody who watches the videos. It'll be the second one that we do on to here. But the first one, I mean, I really haven't heard much about this, but I'm sure more will come of it. But let me go ahead and pop this up. So we're doing some Twitter, Twitter reading today, guys. Twitter reading. There we go. So, Thief stole case of impeccable basketball at the Dallas Card Show. If you know him, please let us know. So, <laughs> guy's got a mask on. Insane. Um, just so you guys know, impeccable, when you think of a case of cards, is very, very small. It's probably the size, smaller than Bowman uh, Jumbo Boxes, a little bit. Because there's only, was it, three boxes into it? It's real small, because I remember when I was a breaker and I got some of these in. I was like, wow, this is a, like a small box. You know, because when you see the stuff on camera, you're thinking it's a bigger box till you hold it in your hand. But picture the guy out there. I mean, it's going to be kind of hard to tell who he is. And maybe somebody knows him because of what he was wearing. But odds are. But I was scrolling through here, and there was something on here. He's not been caught yet as of uh, yesterday. Chris saw him leaving. I mean, that's kind of crazy there. I mean, some people said they, they noticed this guy. We'll see if it comes up. Oh, see, somebody even says smaller than a Bowman Jumbo box. Uh, there was one thing on here that I was like kind of weary do, 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 do. Where is it at on here? And I know they're trying to find out, Panini, if you have the case number and serial number, if they know what cards are in it. They might. I don't know. There was something on here, though, where somebody said that they... Oh, here it is. Pretty sure that's the dude that yanked my son's wristband off his hand as we were leaving. Not sure about the timing, but we left at noon. I'll be honest with you, if I had my kid at a card show and somebody came up to him and yanked his wristband off, I'm sorry, lines are drawn. I'm probably going after a dude. I mean, he may be bigger than me, he may be tougher than me, but I'm going to put up a fight because nobody puts their hands on my kid. So that just kind of made me, like, why did you not do that with somebody yanking your son's wristband off his hand? But just stuff like this here. But again, you know, when you start reading through these comments, you know, I call it good toilet read. Because you could sit there while you're on the toilet reading all kind of crazy comments on stuff like this. But, as expected, there's always something stolen with these big card shows. And we do have something here today, Case of Impeccable Basketball. Alright, moving on here. So, <laughs> this is kind of funny. Panini placed the wrong sticker for the autograph on the wrong card. So we have an Aaron Judge auto on a Kino auto. No kidding. And this is what happens is like when something gets pushed out on social media, everybody sees it. And there's the judge. They found it with the Aquino auto onto it. I mean, how does this pass? Can you see now you can see Leighton pulled this one. I'm sure that if the person hits Leighton up, they might be able to, you know, find the person and try to figure something out onto it. But how do you place the wrong autograph on the wrong cards? Does it mean the rest of these that are serial number to this are wrong too? I mean, wow. Wow. It, it just it sh Nothing really shocks me anymore, but it's just that now, ever since we had to defend a fiasco this year, people are paying a lot more attention to this stuff, and it's popping off everywhere. Everywhere across the boards. Um, people questioning autographs of players to... Um, uh, Gosh, I'm just trying to think. We have some more stuff coming up on some uh, trim cards. We even have PSA uh, not grading a certain company's cards, which I'm waiting to get a response back. I did send that uh, a message out to Nat Turner. See if he'll actually email me back on to it or send me a message back. We'll see. If not, I know somebody that's uh, like the, in the one of the head people customer service down there. And I'm going to see if I can get an answer on to it or not. Because 
Well, it'd be quite interesting if PSA really comes back and says they're not going to grade a certain brand of card out there. You know, what does, what does that really do for that brand of card out there? But, but more onto that probably once I get some more information onto it. But it's just a good heads up because basically you're wasting time by setting it off. And if they're not going to grade, you're just going to stick her back. It said something like, um, not, uh, something about not being authenticated or something like that. But I'll go a little more into that. But I just thought this was kind of interesting here with Panini offhand. <laughs> Misplacing stickers. And they actually found the uh, card that was supposed to get a type deal on to between Aquino and Judge on to here. So... Not a whole lot that I've seen going on on Twitter through all my little uh, messages out there and stuff like that. A lot of people selling stuff. But these two, this one here was sent to me. I don't follow this person at all. I don't follow a whole lot of people on Twitter. But occasionally there's some good stuff that gets put out onto these feeds. It just really makes you question where everything's going. What is really considered quality control out there with these companies? And at the same time frame, you know, we're spending... Compared to three years ago, hundreds and thousands of dollars more on certain products. And we're just getting bad quality coming out of them. I mean, I'm not asking for every car to come out, you know, 50-50 you know, centering, top, bottom, back, front, and back and stuff. But with a lot of this stuff, you know, I know they outsource to where their cards are produced at and packed. But, I mean, come on, those guys are making money at them machine shops. They should be changing them blades out a lot better. A lot better. And them rollers, too. But, all right, guys, I figure you guys might like to see something a little bit different when we call uh, going Twitter reading or something like that. I'll figure something catchy out down the road. Unless you guys have something catchy, we can call these types of videos. Maybe we'll do them weekly, bi-weekly, something like that there. But, all right, guys, have a good, safe Monday out there. Uh, no overtime this week. And I'll be at a show, Louisville, Kentucky, on Saturday. If you're by, stop by the uh, table, say hello. Overtime, you'll be back the following Friday. Yeah, following Friday. I'm trying to think because I don't have the calendar pulled up with me. And we'll do some more talking on there. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one. See you guys next video.